Hey beauties, what is going on? Happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining me today um, for something special that I'm doing on my channel. This is the first time I'm doing this on my channel and um, this video is going to be completely dedicated to Aaliyah. Um, this might be a little emotional for me just because I'm a big fan of hers and I was really excited when I heard about Mac dropping a collection with her name on it um, just to continue her legacy. So if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Thank you for hitting the play button and spending a few minutes of your day with me. If you are one of my subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for your love and support. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about today, and sorry if, if I might be like a little slow today or a little emotional it's just because Aaliyah did play a big part in my life in my teenage years and it's just really really sad how she left us in such a tragic way so the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, so some of the collection pieces from the Mac collaboration that they did with her name on it and I was able to get my hands on two pieces when I went on the Mac website the first day that it dropped the PR box collection of, of all the pieces in it for $250 was completely sold out and me as a as a fan that makes me super happy for her legacy to be continuing like that with her fans it's um, wow just the fan I'm just like wow it's just amazing Second off, I was able to get my hands on one lipstick. I actually got a hold of two more lipsticks. They should be arriving today. By the time I upload this, I'll probably have it, but I'm doing this filming early this morning, so I don't have them on hand now. And the lipstick I got a hold of was Try Again, and I actually have it on. I absolutely love it. It's, as you can see, a neutral. It's a matte finish. It went on so super easy. It's creamy. The scent is amazing. It smells like vanilla cupcakes. So I love when lipsticks smell like that, you guys. It's just awesome. The packaging just... <sighs> the packaging to this collection screams Aaliyah. It's classy, sexy. Uh, it's <sighs> Her signature is on it. Oh, I'm sorry you guys. Wow. I didn't think I was going to get like this just being a fan of hers and talking about this collection. <sighs> um, wow. Yeah. I'm being real with you guys right now. Like throughout my teenage years just with her music and the, the person that she was, she really got me through some tough times with her music through high school. Like I hated high school. I got bullied. Um, I, I hung out with the wrong crowds. I used to get into a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, I hated high school, you guys, but she was just one of those entertainers that if you saw her on TV, if you saw her in an interview, she just came off with, um, <sighs> wow. She just came off with such an amazing vibe to her. Like she could just be your best friend there was like she never had any drama with anyone for me just following her as a fan I never came across any like super duper huge scandal with her and like an, another like female in the industry she was just she was stunning she was amazing she was so talented like I can't even explain words on just the woman that she she was that she is in our hearts and oh Jesus wow <sighs> her music really really got me through some tough times in high school and you know it was to the point where I did look up to her as a role model and just a, f a few of my favorite songs in her videos like I used to record them and learn the dance moves to them Oh, I took dance classes because of her in high school. Just her style, her costumes in her videos, the makeup. And by the way, she used MAC products. And uh, just, oh my gosh, just the memories of 
her as, a ta as an entertainer and how I followed her was just, it's always going to hold a dear piece in my heart. And Aaliyah, I'm, I hope you're resting in peace and you will forever be remembered to your fans and we will forever keep your legacy going however we can. But um, yeah, a few of my favorite songs of her was um, More Than A Woman, uh, Try Again, the dancing in that video, and Are You That Somebody? I just, I can't. Wow. This is really hitting me to the core, you guys. This this dedication is just, I hope I do her right in this video, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So before I just start crying and stuff like that, I'm just going to keep going. But yeah, the packaging of this collection is absolutely gorgeous. It's stunning. This is what it looks like. Um, it's in a bullet form, you guys, and I do have this on my lips today. Again, it is a, a neutral color. And again, it is Try Again. Uh, before I even get into the palette, the eyeshadow palette that they did for her, I do have it all over my lid, um, my lids. <sighs> the colors in this palette are super pretty. They do scream her. They scream her style. Very neutrals with like one or two pops of color. There are, I believe, five shimmers, one that's kind of like a foil finish, and then two mattes, and one of them is kind of like in between, where it has very, very little sparkle to it, but it's like a matte finish. So for me, just my opinion, it's, it's in between. But the only thing I... Okay. This is what the palette looks like. I was a little, I'm going to be real with you guys. I was a little disappointed when I got this in the mail because it's really small. I was not expecting this palette to be this small. And I'm actually going to show you what I expected the size of the, the size of the palette to be. I really thought it was going to come this size. I'm, I'm not joking. I thought it was going to be you know this size and for $32 I'm just like okay really the packaging is great it is you could throw it in your pocket to travel with it's travel friendly I do like that the colors are stunning but it's I'm really disappointed in just like the size that they did like for me as a fan I feel like the size of this palette they just did Aaliyah wrong I feel like she deserved a bigger palette and let me just, I'm just going to compare you to this, Mor compare it to this Morph Morphe palette. Like, this is the Morphe palette, and you see the size of the pans. I can't, you guys. Like, I'm sorry, do you not see the difference? Like, if Morphe can do something good like this for $12, and you get those, that pan size, they could have done that for Aaliyah and her legacy in this one for $32. So I just felt like it was super, super small. I just, that just really disappointed me as a fan for her, my opinion. But as for the colors, the colors are beautiful. I just, I don't like that the colors, they don't have the names of the colors on the palette. It wasn't on the box. The palette name is Age Ain't Nothing, I believe. Yes, Age Ain't Nothing. I, I had to search for the names on the site. Thank God that also had the, num the names of the shadows on their site. As you can see, I'm still like, my words in this video is just, I'm just going to try to move it along. But really quick... Wow, you guys, I didn't think I was going to get like this. Oh, Aaliyah, 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 you was just such a wonderful woman. It was just so sad how you were just taken from us at the age of 22. I just, that's crazy, you guys. Okay. Dance in the Dark, this color right here, I absolutely love. Most of the colors in this palette are super buttery. They blended well. I had a little bit of kick up, but it wasn't an issue. The eye, sh the eyeshadows themselves, they went on great. They blended well together. I 
had hardly any fallout and some of these are shimmers but I will say that this color right here deception I don't know what they did to that formula but it was just it was chunky it was gritty it was n not like smooth to the touch it wasn't buttery even a swatch of it is just hard to get I tried putting this like when I played with this palette last night I tried putting it on with a dry brush didn't work I tried using my finger it didn't work I tried using fix plus on my brush that didn't work I was like what is wrong with this shadow I'm just that's the only shadow in this in this palette that just did not work I was just like oh my gosh are you serious everything else I absolutely love this one that somebody it's like a corally pinky peach color amazing it is the most soft eyeshadow in this palette it's just I, I have it on the bottom of my lid mixed in with is it creative copper right here and for the majority of the palette I do love it and of course this was my first palette from MAC I, I had to Aaliyah's name is on it you know I have to support her have to support her family I'm I was a huge fan I still am uh, but yeah the only thing that I just didn't like was deception it just didn't work for me and the size of the palette you guys I'm just like wow they could have they could have done a bigger palette I'm sorry MAC but yeah so that's as f as for the makeup that's that's all I have to say but I'm glad that I purchased them the packaging is just it screams Aaliyah I have to give it to them it's just gorgeous it's classy sexy just like her oh oh geez geez but yeah so yeah Aaliyah was just a big part of my life in high school like I said before and just to give you like some quick facts about her uh, you, she died in the Bahamas you know after filming her rock the boat video when she was 22 years old guys it's just heartbreaking and I remember that day you know August 25th like if it was yesterday I was 17 years old and you know this past January she would have been 39 she just oh she was just an amazing entertainer and you know I was in San Diego when she passed out they buried her on my birthday August 31st and it was just that was just another thing for me but my favorite album from her is her self-titled one, Aaliyah. I still have it. I still have One in a Million. And then I also have the album that they dropped after she passed with like all her, her hits and her singles and stuff like that. And then my favorite movie from her, she did Romeo Must Die in 2000. And then 2002, she graced us again on the big screen with Queen of the Damned with Stuart Townsend. And she played Queen Akasha. And this is just... Oh, I just, she was just stunning in this movie. She was amazing. She really took a grip on that role and she gave it her all. And I'm just so glad that they chose her to do this movie. It was just stunning. But you guys, like, oh my gosh, if you don't know Aaliyah, please just like look her up, buy her album, support her, support her and her family. You know, my, still after so many years, just my heart is with her family and her and I hope that through this video I you know I did her just as a fan proud I love the collection except <laughs> how small the palette is but that's about it you guys and I love the lipstick like I know I'm gonna love the other two if I love this one so I hope that you guys just enjoyed this video I know it was a little slow a little emotional and I just got lost in my words I'm sorry I didn't know I was gonna get like that but I am a huge fan of Aaliyah and this is just a very touchy video for me so I hope you enjoy you know your day uh, just man just don't take life for granted you don't know when you're gonna go be just loving and kind to one another and just oh, if you have big dreams for yourself just do it just go cuz you know you only live once you guys and just be the best that you can be and just go go for life you want to do something in life like your dream just go out and live it and just do it oh so that is it for today you guys if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up I hope you really enjoyed it. You guys, Aaliyah, I hope I did right by you by doing this video. And uh, thank you, Mac, for 
dropping this collection even though it did take a petition of more than 26,000 supporters to get this done after three years but I appreciate you guys I love you guys have a wonderful day bye